Hey y'all, it's Nia Alina. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, I ask that you please like and subscribe. However, if you are new to my channel, I hope that you find this video enjoyable and informative and that you like and subscribe as well. Today's video is coming to you all a little bit late. However, I've been busy trying to adjust to being back at school for the spring semester and I just have not had the chance to actually sit down and record. So now that I have the opportunity to do so, I'm going to record it. And if you read the title, you know that this is a Christmas 2017 makeup haul. I am so fortunate enough to have friends and family that love me and know exactly what I love and what I like, which is makeup. <laughs> and so I have received quite a bit of makeup for the Christmas holiday. Um, in this particular video, I'll be talking about quite a few products, some of them that I have used, some of them I have not used. But if you see something that you're interested in, one of these products you're interested in and you'd like more information on it, or to see me use it in a specific look, please let me know. I am open to you all suggestions and I know that some of these products may be a little bit more interesting to you all. So the first product is a eyeshadow box. It's called Beauty Gems. It has um, 103 pieces, which is eyeshadow and blush. It was gifted to me by my sister. And I just want to give you all a disclaimer. Because these were gifts, I do not know the exact prices of them or where exactly you can purchase them. However, I will look them up and add the links and the prices in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing, please click there and I will have all of that information listed. So I have used this eyeshadow box one or two times recently. This is how it looks and I'll go ahead and open it up and it has quite a few shades. You can see. And I've used it a little bit. I think I've used like a purple and a nude color and they're fairly well pigmented. Um, you know, for the price that you're paying. And this also slides open and you have some blushes and bronzers. And I I use the blushes and the bronzers and those show up so well. They, they come out so clearly. And I believe it also has like a little box down here with some lip glosses that you can mix and match. You can find your own shade. And I'll go ahead and put, I think this is the blush color that I've used. I want to say it is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, V6. So they are numbered. They have letters and numbers on the back that correlate to their position on the box. So this is the blush B6. It's a very pink color. I don't know if that's showing up very well on camera. Maybe if I come back. Yeah, here we go. It's a very pink color. And I'll just take in a little bit and I'm going to test it out on my hand, a little quick swatch. So here we go. And that is the blush. So you can see that that comes up. It's very, very bright. You only need a minimal amount. Um, the eyeshadows are a little less pigmented, but for the price that you're paying, you're still getting a very good eyeshadow box with multiple colors. Okay. And here you can see where they have everything numbered and lettered. And I'm sure that I will use this in the future um, with some eyeshadow looks. So you probably will come across this again in another one of my videos. Probably a makeup tutorial, which I'm hoping I can record soon. So again, this is the Beauty Gems. It has 103 shades, 103 pieces collection. Um, that's including lip gloss, blushes, bronzers, and did I say blushes? Blushes, bronzers, and eyeshadows. So the next gift or gifts were from my sister as well. The um, beauty box was from my sister. And these were from my sister. I believe I've told you all that she's an employee at MAC. And I love nudes. In almost every video you've seen of me, I've had on a nude color lipstick or lip gloss like that is my go-to which is so crazy because when I was younger I used to love 
bright, bright pinks like the Nicki Minaj pinks. If you know me, you also know I love Nicki Minaj. <laughs> and now I am a lover of all things nude. And so she got me two nude lipsticks. One of them is from the Nicki collection called Nicki's Nudes. And the other one is called Stripped. It's from MAC. And if you can tell, I have been using these quite frequently. Um, and that is why the packaging looks so crazy. So I'll go ahead and take these out. And this is the Stripped. And you will be able to tell which one they are because they have different packaging. Nikki's packaging is um, special. So here's the Nikki. Nikki's nude. And here is Stripped. And I'll go ahead and take the top off. And you can see it's just like a light nude that's the only way I can describe it <laughs> and here is Nikki's and it's got a little bit more of a pinkish undertone and so I'll do a quick swatch of these um, and I actually have on Nikki's nude right now with a clear a clear gloss on top of it so here is Nikki's on the right and stripped on the left And this is Nikki's on my lips. <laughs> and I love it. I love these. I love these. I love these. And I am i don't use MAC products very often. I use the, I think, mineralized powder and like the skin refined treatment zone or something like that. Um, but I love their lip products. They're very moisturizing. They have a nice smell. So when I go to MAC, those are typically the products I tend to buy their lip products, not necessarily any of their skin products. Although it's been a while since I've used them, it's probably been about five or six years since I've used the foundation or anything from MAC. So maybe the formulas have changed. But again, these are the lipsticks from MAC, Nikki's Nude, and Stripped. And I will have the links for those in the description box. Now, here is another gift from my best friend. This is from my best friend. It is the Stila or Stila. Um, and it's in the, col the color Kitten Karma. And I'm going to label this as a multi-purpose beauty product. <laughs> because when I first received this, I was using it as a lip gloss. I was using it as a lip gloss. And then I visited the Stila's or whoever they may be, I can't remember, their Instagram page, only to realize that this is actually liquid eyeshadow. So <laughs> if you want to use this as a lip gloss or lip product, I'm pretty sure they're not going to tell you no. Um, but it is actually liquid eyeshadow. And so I'll go ahead and do a little swatch of this. And I love it. It is so pretty. I wore it for New Year's. And it's just kind of like a glitter like a nude glitter and it dries so smooth and here it is it's very pretty and you can see why I mean with the shape of this and the way that the applicator looks first instinct will tell me that this is a lip gloss and it looks like it could be a lip gloss with the way that it shows up so I think you could see why I would consider this as a lip gloss. They also didn't come with any packaging. It was just in a gift box that she had given to me. So there were no directions or any type of, um, okay, well, here I see liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> Reading is fundamental. Reading is very fundamental. Again, this is Stila in Kitten Karma liquid eyeshadow or multi-purpose beauty product also to be used as lip gloss. <laughs> now this last product was not a gift. I actually purchased this myself at the Dillard sale that they have um, around New Year's. I went and I saw this Glam Glow Glow Star Glow Starter pack. It comes in a little pack of three. And you basically use this, oops, you basically use this as a moisturizer or like a primer or it's something that you can mix with your foundation just to add your a little bit of glow to your look. I use this normally when I don't wear makeup, but they have three different shades. They have pearl glow, which is like a white glow. I'm not going to 
rub it all the way in just so that you all can get a look a good look at it they have new glow which is just an in-between shade and then they have sun glow which is like which will be a new to me but I guess like a darker shade and so I've just kind of and you can see that they have a nice glowy glittery undertone I don't know if that will show up well on camera but they're basically moisturizers and I'll rub all of them in and I'll just mix 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 and you can see it gives you like a glow a glowy look And I use these, mostly I use these when I'm not going to wear makeup and I just want my skin to look refreshed. I put it on after I put on my daily moisturizer. Once I've used it to kind of blend in with my foundation just to test it out and see how it will look. And for the most part it came out okay. Would I do that every time? Probably not. But if you wanted to, like in the directions, it tells you that you can use it for that purpose as well. So this is the Glam Glow Glam Starter. <clears throat> in three shades it's a multi-dimensional highlight and you could probably use it as a regular highlighter like on your cheekbones I've yet to try that but I'm sure that it will work out pretty well so that was the glam glow glam starter three pack kit now this last well this is not the last gift but this is a gift from my significant other it is the Kylie Jenner the royal peach palette it's the pressed powder eyeshadow by Kylie Jenner. It comes with, I think, 12 different shades. Here we go. And I'll go ahead and open it up. I have been using this pretty frequently, so the brush isn't in there. Um, and it might look a little crazy, but you see all of those shades. And right now I have this dark blue. Um, what is it? I think that's. I don't know which color that is. I have a hard time lining these up. I think it's royal, the color royal. I had that on my under eye. And I absolutely love this palette. Like, it is so pigmented. Every color shows up so well on multiple skin types. I'm talking, I've had my friend who is a darker brown use this, kind of swatch it on her hand. And they came up just as well as they show on me. And so you can see just a little bit. I, I tend not to do too much color. I'm trying to get away from that. So baby steps. So I've just added this little blue line under my eyes. And you can see how that looks. So imagine if I were to do, you know, a whole color. And I'll go ahead and swatch two of these. I'm just going to do it on the back of my hand. I know it might show up better on my wrist. But I'm just going to do it on the back of my hand. So I'll do this pink color. I'll do the blue that's also on my eyes. And I mean, just look at that. Look how it comes up on my hand. And I'll do this bright gold. And I still have a little glitter on my hand from that lip gloss. So just ignore that glitter. But you can see that's with no primer, just using my finger to dip it in there and rub it on my hand. So imagine actually going and doing it the right way, applying eyeshadow the right way, and it would show up very, very well. So this is the Kylie Pressed Powder Eyeshadow, and this is the Royal Peach Palette. So I am a fan of this. I have been using it very, very frequently in my last few eyeshadow looks, mostly the nudes, but I've been kind of inching my way into the colors and kind of using that blue and the purples. But this is now one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. Like, I use it very, very often, and so... If you're interested in that, I will probably do some looks with this, some makeup tutorial looks with this in the future. So just be on the lookout for that. Now, this last product is a very interesting gift. It was given to me by my mother. And I was interested in this before she gave it to me. And then after she gave it to me, I was like, hmm, you read my mind. <laughs> so it is a pair of magnetic lashes. It's magnetic lashes, professional eyelash. I'm not sure where it was purchased, but this is the packaging. This is the box. Um, it has a sticker on it, probably a shipping sticker, a tracking sticker. And this is how they look. It came in this circular package with a glitter background. 
and I'll go ahead and open it up. And I've used these once and I have to say that I am a fan. I will do a specific video. I, I think I'll do a specific video using the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palette, palette and these magnetic lashes. I'm going to test out these magnetic lashes. I've used them before and I enjoyed using them. Now, I will say it's a little difficult to get them on. Um, just, I'm having a hard time opening this. Okay, there we go. It's a little difficult to get them on because you have to line them up. So I kind of pull them apart so you can see what I'm talking about. You have to line them up exactly. And because they're magnets, they want to attract to each other. So you kind of have to have a little bit of patience trying to put them on. But, oh no, I dropped it. Okay, I'll use this one. You have to have a little, I just dropped both. Okay, hold on one moment. As I was saying before I clumsily dropped all of the eyelashes, you have to have some patience putting them on because you have to line them up exactly right. Now, here they are. Those little black rectangles at the end are the magnets. So you line one up at the bottom lash, at the bottom of your lash, and then you put the other one on the top of your lash and you clasp them together and they just stick together. And they stay on your eye, there's no glue, and then you can just pull them off. And I really like them because I'm not a fan of strip lashes. I use them, I do use them occasionally, but I don't like the hassle of glue. I don't like having to rub glue off of my eye. I just, if I can avoid them, I avoid them. But these are so simple, there's no glue involved. I just slide it right off and I can use it as many times as I want because it's a magnet. Like the magnet is not gonna run out of magnetism. You can use it for however long you deem necessary. Of course, you might wanna trade them out for hygiene reasons or if you put mascara on them, you may need a new pair after a while. But I really enjoy using these. I just think that it is so clever and I was so happy when I saw that she bought them because it was something that I had been wanting to try for a while. So these are the magnetic lashes. I will do a video on these soon where I use them on myself and you can see how I put them on. It's a little frustrating. You definitely have to be in your right mind, like no drinking or anything like that because you might just go crazy. But <laughs> these are the magnetic lashes. And that concludes my 2017 Christmas makeup haul. If you see any products that you're interested in or want to see me test out, definitely let me know. My contact information and social media information is in the description box. Or you can just leave it in the comment section. I do check the comments and I do reply. But these are some interesting products. Each one of them I have used and I believe will serve me well. <laughs> in my makeup endeavors because each one of them is interesting um, but if you're interested in purchasing any of the products again all of that information will be down in the description box along with the prices I just wanted to add this in my next video will be an anonymous question and answer segment so if you have any questions that you would like to ask me if you don't want to be anonymous my email and social media is down below in the description box however if you have a question that you would like to ask me it can be about any topic um, please feel free to follow me on social media I will be posting a link to a site where you can ask me questions anonymously and I will pick a few and I will answer them in my next video so if you are interested in being involved in that again please check the description box for my social media information and that is where I will post the link so just be on the lookout for that. Thank you.